Howdy. Today is a very funny video. So a couple weeks ago, I believe it was like around two weeks ago, something like that. My sense of time is really bad. A, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Nova Umbral was doing a stream. I think it was a level cap defense stream, I want to say. And he was doing it with some... Uh, all also very snazzy people i think it was like shiro nature gamble and um nev but the one we're focusing today on is nev because nev said something that really spoke to me okay he said something about making wait 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 back up i just realized it wasn't on the stream hold up back up actually it was in the video that Nova Umbral did talking about Steel Essence, okay? Anyways, it was about making Kuvazar into a primer and how you shouldn't do it. Uh, that's the point. And so, you know what? I saw that and I was like, you know, I should do that. And so here we are. We're making the Kuvazar into a primer. Because why not? Now... For a primer, it's actually not the worst weapon in the game. I mean, if we look at its stats, it does have a very large AoE of 7 meters. It's got cluster bombs. The status chance could be better at 71%, or sorry, 31%. It's not terrible. The main problem is the ammo economy. That's the biggest problem, but we can try to fix that. So, let us go to upgrade. What what are we priming here for? I don't think this will be a too long of a video, but there's really one way we can prime, okay? Now, it needs to be a primer that has value because why would I use it if I can do something else, right? So we're not going to use it like viral, normal viral priming because at that point, why wouldn't I just use the Bubonico or a secondary or something? So it has to do something that and other weapons aren't going to do. Okay, so we're going to make use of it being a primary weapon. And we're going to build it for Heat Inherits. Because not everybody has Primed Heat to Charge. And if you don't have Primed Heat to Charge, you can actually get a higher heat value on primary weapons. Also not including Rivens. Because we can use Thermite Rounds and Hellfire and Wildfire. Which gives us a delicious 210% heat still less than if you were to have the 60 60 heat and primed heat charge on secondary but still acceptable right like 210 250 or 225 it's only 15 percent less and then you don't have to have primed heat charge we also have malignant force here so that it combines and it gives us yes wait why do i have malignant force wait a second i don't know why that's on what that's supposed to be amalgam serration just so that we also have the sprint speed galvanized chamber because obviously we need multi-shot prime firestorm for a big juicy aoe because now it gives us uh what's our aoe at it is 10 meters thermite rounds wildfire hellfire again for the heat inherit part and we also get mag capacity from wildfire status chance from thermite rounds we have continuous misery so that is a burn for longer and ammo drum so that we get extra ammo capacity right or not or like you know our reserves and rifle ammo mutation so we get extra ammo primary merciless so we get faster reload speed actually we can if you don't care for the sprint speed we can replace amalgam serration here with rifle aptitude to bring up our status chance but we well i mean we really only need one heat proc so i'd actually probably rather just go for the sprint speed because the first heat proc is the only one that actually matters here because we can always just get viral from our pet right so now the question is why what are you going to use it on who who do you use it for okay i mean there's hildren but hildren heat kind of doo doo and we still have an ammo problem ember eh i don't know i don't feel like it's great on ember but protea you know what protea has blaze artillery blaze artillery does heat heat the hair works on this but you know what protea also has in her base kit dispensary and temporal anchor which will completely fix our ammo problems allowing us to spam the ever-living crap out of the kuvazar meaning we don't run out of ammo 
and it has a massive AoE. So it actually works on Protea and because you're using your primary slot as your heat inherit primer, that opens up your secondary to be a different weapon. Like let's say not everybody likes having primer as a secondary and kill stuff as a primary. What if you want to kill stuff with your secondary but still need a primer as a weapon? Well, now you can do that in this build, right? So I can run my Prisma Angstrom and shoot fireballs everywhere, but then still have a primer in my kit. So, shabam. We are going to be Heat Inherit Priming with the Kuvazar. Now, this is a very vanilla build. It's literally labeled vanilla, um, but it's quite snazzy. Prime sure footed because if we get knocked down by our AoE, that's going to make us want to stop living in GTA. And, you know, everything else doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we're going to be using this to prime the enemies. Now, we, of course, are going to compare here. Of course, you got to see that they're level 1A Corrupted Heavy Gunner Steel Path. So we're going to compare with and without the priming. So we come over here, and I will put down one singular turret. Sixteen shots, and the burn does actually end up killing them. Now, if we come back over here, uh, kill enemies, dude. I'm really struggling to get used to PC here. I need an actually good controller I can hook up to it. Now, we can go slappy, 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 slappy. It killed them before it even ran out. Look at that. I didn't hit the guys in the back with the priming, but if I did, it would have been able to kill the whole group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we can make it work. And because, again, because we have dispensary and temporal anchor. Spam it. Reload the weapon. Temporal Anchor tanks us back. And there's all of our ammo. Well, there's also still ammo bricks on the ground. I think that's pretty funny. I don't know about you, but I think that's really funny. And now we have a big pirate cannon that we use as a primer. And they said it couldn't be done. It has value. It's somewhat practical and it's doing something that i don't think any other weapon could do quite as schnazzily i mean i guess kuva brahma maybe but i feel like this is at least in a spot that is doing something to a degree or on uh in a way that nothing else would really fulfill the same little tiny niche that it's in so i'm quite satisfied with this i don't know about you but heat inherit priming czar it works. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, eat a bowl of cereal, and if you don't, lick my ass. Adios.